Um, who even are you exactly? So, um, who even are you? What's so funny about a dog making a face or a poorly drawn frog? This stuff seems pretty retarded. You know, like 95% of the internet. Well, it's not really retarded. In fact, it's actually neat in a way. You see, memes are what shows people's creativity. Memes started on internet forums such as Fortune, Reddit, and other websites like that. There are also very popular memes such as Doge, Peppy, Neon Cat, another one, Facebook, and Donald Trump, I guess. Memes are actually what makes the internet. Yes, this is all fine and dandy, whatever, but what makes these funny, irresistible images so popular in every form and fashion of a word? Well, who's to blame other than Pi? To be honest, I couldn't tell you, they just evolved into their own subspecies of cancer on the internet that hold a very special place in the hearts of all 12 year olds and meme members on college. What the hell are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that memes need to die off like the 6 year olds that play Minecraft who evolved to be basement dwellers who will never experience friends or girlfriends because I'm that much of an asshole. And anyways, what you're saying can be true, but memes aren't that addictive, you know? To be honest, it's not as addictive as video games. In fact, there hasn't even been much reports on memes making children and teens go wild, so I do not see how memes can have an impact on someone's life. Hey dudes, the pizza's here. Get out, Jeffrey. Okay. <laughs> well, sure, but remember the reports of the two 12-year-old children stabbing a schoolmate 19 times or of a slender man they read about online? See, this shit makes us do some weird shit, you know? Oh crap, that is very true, but that is memes that have to do with four characters. See, Slenderman is a fuckboy, no one gives a shit about him. Anyways, we should stop debating on how memes are good and bad. We might as well have some facts about memes. We could complain about horror movies in 90s, kid. Wink, 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 wink. But anyway, let's get some facts. Um, um... The first fact is memes are very colorful. They originated from 4chan as jokes, which everyone still takes them to be. Um, the word meme comes from ancient Greek meaning to imitate, which is actually a really damn accurate description considering all the edgy 12 year olds that imitate their favorite filthy French memes. Fact number two is that most memes come from the very popular website, or well, second most popular website, YouTube, aka RedTube. I mean, I mean, well, fuck it. Let's just call it that. <laughs> sure, thanks. Toe, get the fuck out of the toilet and talk about some things, you smelly whore. <laughs> You're not gonna get anything because that's Christmas. Take it out like that! Anyways, fact number three is the Dancing Baby meme was originally a data and test file for character studio. No, just get the fuck out of my house. Anyways, wanna grab another one? What is that supposed to mean? Um, I don't know. I just wanted to spice up the episode. Fourth wall! Fourth wall! Fourth wall! Um, I'll just let you do whatever this is. Anyway, I'm glad you enjoyed this video of me and Pi. Go make sure to check out his channel and his gaming channel, King Mustachio. So, um, that was my review on memes, which is awfully long. And, well, j just talk about memes in the comment section or whatever, because I need more cancer. Does Doge make you want to pull your hair out? Or do you outbreak in laughter after hearing some filthy Frank memes? Whatever it is, tell me or whatever. Share this video with your friends if you have any. Unlike me, and j just go subscribe to Pi for Pete's sake. Anyway, this was the Obscure Entertainer, bringing you reviews through obscurity. Okay. Oh fuck, that was actually very short to record. Holy shit. Um, exactly what he said. Bye. I'm done.